Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got a ton of news to cover for various Pokemon things. We have new trademarks that have just been leaked. We have new rumors to go over for Legends EA and Generation 10. Pokemon Go updates, other mobile updates. There's a lot of things to break down and get into today. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, let's take a look at these new trademarks for Pokemon. So we have Poke Experto here tweeting out saying Nintendo Creatures and Game Freak have registered a new trademark in Japan. So this is the trademark and it translates to Dragons of Paradise. So I already know what you're thinking, oh my god this must be related to Generation 5 games. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be related to some of the dragons that we got recently in the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC, like Hydrapple and stuff like that. However, though, if this set comes out quite late on in the year, and we do get these Generation 5 remakes announced, it very well could be for that. You know, they could be having Hydrapple cards plus your Kyurem cards and your Zekrom cards and your Reshiram cards and stuff like that. It's just still yet to be seen, but I wouldn't go into this expecting it to be something about Dragon uh, Pokemon from Generation 5 or Generation 5 remakes. It's most likely just the TCG set for dragons that we've just got recently in the DLC. Uh, we do have Soul Silver Art and also Jean talking about this as well, saying uh, this would be near the end of the year of the dragon. Maybe there's some other dragons that want to make a guest appearance in the Pokemon TCG. So this was posted on the, I think, Poke Beach, saying a new trademark for Paradise Dragon has been filed by Pokemon Japan. It's under the same terms as trademarks used to set names in the past. This set will obviously feature dragon type Pokemon, not to mention it's currently the year of the dragon. Perhaps it will be headlined by Hydrapple EX, who saw its pre-evolution Diplin introduced into uh, in Crimson Haze. It could also feature our Caladon EX, who was introduced as the new Steel Dragon evolution of Duraludon in the Indigo Disc. Uh, and then also, based on the set schedule, we could uh, be seeing Paradise Dragons release in Japan this September or October. And again, if we do get this game coming out in November, it might be something to do with that. Again, it's very, very unlikely. It's mainly just going to be for those Scarlet and Violet DLC dragon types. Uh, we have Jean here saying that's definitely a new TCG, uh, TCG set featuring the new dragons, likely Hydrapple or Caladon and Terra Dragon, something else. I would assume some old dragons to be featured, but I won't put in uh, I won't put in too much bet. Thing is uh, that there will be at least two more sets before this. I'd be surprised not to see Hydrapple and Arcaladon before October, but you're more of an expert of this than me. They could show up as one prize cards, but likely not mainly featured as the, main, uh, as the new main set Pokemon. Yeah, that makes sense. We're just speculating anyway. Uh, so yeah, I, like I say, it's a new trademark. It's most likely going to be for a TCG set. I wouldn't expect it to be with Generation 5 games, but... You just, you just never know. Anyway, moving on, we have some few uh, other things to go over. We have Pokemon Go, uh, new update that's just been announced with Cerebi here tweeting out, saying, Cerebi update, the Pokemon Go bug out event has been announced. It runs from the 12th of April through to the 19th of April. Also adds Mega Heracross into the game. Uh, oh, actually, correction, it says the event ends on the 17th of April. So it starts on the 12th of April and ends on the 17th of April. So these are the kind of things you can expect to see whilst doing this bug event. So jump, crawl, or wiggle just don't miss out on the bug out event trainers get ready to encounter some buzz worthy pokemon on friday the 12th of april at 10 a.m to wednesday uh, the 17th of april 2024 at 8 p.m local time of course the whelmer event is now live in pokemon go that's just gone uh up this morning i think it boosts i think it boosts whelmer and also i think you can get shiny wimpod in the game now as well also as well as shiny whelmer obviously but anyway for the bug out event we have the featured Pokemon being Combi, and then all the different Burmy forms, which is a bit unfortunate. Burmy is, well, Wormadam is my least favorite Pokemon, so not going to be great seeing all these popping up on the screen. But yeah, these uh, four Pokemon have increased spawn chance, or obviously all can be shiny as well. And then in the event bonuses, you get two times XP for catching Pokemon with nice throws or better. Increased candy for nice throws or better. Increased candy XL for nice throws or better for trainers level 31 and up. And then also increased shiny chance to encounter uh, Combi and shiny Burmy. And the field research task rewards can give shiny Paris, shiny Venonet, shiny Burmese, Plank Cloak, Sandy Cloak, and the Trash Cloak, shiny Carablast, shiny Shelmet, shiny Dupider, shiny Wimpod, also Beedrill Energy, Mega uh, Pincel Energy, and also uh, Mega Scizor Energy as well. And then finishing things off, Wild Encounters, shiny Caterpie, shiny Weedle, shiny Shuckle, shiny Wurmple, shiny Cricketot, shiny Combi, 
normal Zawaddle, Shiny Dwebble, and then also some trainers might even encounter Shiny Ninkada and Shiny Cutifly as well. Uh, new avatar items, Pokestop showcases, yada yada yada. And then in one star raids, you can get Shiny Pineco, Shiny Shuckle, Shiny Ninkada, and Shiny Skorupi. In three star raids, you can get Shiny Beedrill, Pinsir, and Cleavor. Five star raids, you can get Shiny Bulu. The Mega Raids are Mega Charizard X until April the 3rd at 10 a.m. Uh, I think that might be a little bit of a mistake. I think that's supposed to be April 13th. Uh, and then also it says um, Mega Heracross as well. And then complete raids in person with at least one another trainer to get Pokemon around that gym for 15 minutes. So that is the bug out event. Uh, we also have Mega Heracross Raid Day also announced. Uh, so Cerebi Update Pokemon Go has announced the Mega Heracross Raid Day it runs on April 13th from 2 p.m. till 5 p.m. local time. So obviously this is very similar to the raid days that we've got recently. You get extra raid passes on that day uh, for spinning gyms and, and stuff like that. And obviously it has an increased shiny chance. I think it's like a one in 10 instead of like a one in whatever it usually is. Uh, but either way, yeah, that raid day has also been announced. Uh, moving on, we also have Pokemon Sleep getting some new additions as well. Obviously we just got Raikou, but we are now getting Entei uh, and Suicune coming soon to, uh, to Pokemon Sleep. So for everybody that is playing Pokemon Sleep, yeah, you're expecting to see all these legendary beasts uh, very, very soon. But that's all of the uh, event updates for those mobile games. And of course, what are your thoughts on the trademarks as well? Uh, I, again, I hope it's Generation 5. And again, there's a lot of things... Not, not even that this trademark is supporting it, but there's a lot of other things supporting the idea of Generation 5 games. Obviously, we spoke about it a lot recently uh, on videos on the channel. And again... I, I, I'm 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 definitely on the fence. Of, uh, I'm definitely in the corner that we are going to get them this year. But again, that's just my opinion. Uh, I'm not saying it's definitely going to happen. It's just what some insiders have been saying, some leakers and, and stuff like that. And it makes sense as well. It's Year of the Dragon. Um, it is the it's the 15th anniversary next year for Pokemon Black and White. But again, it could be coming out this year and then it's ready for for obviously year uh, the, the 15th anniversary of Black and White. And as well as that, it is the next Pokemon game to be remade. You know, we just got Gen 4. Gen 5 should be next, uh, but again, could be Generation 2. Obviously, it is the 25th anniversary of Johto this year, so it could be something to do with that. But I know, I'm hopeful, and, and I just kind of want a game this year, to be fair, because Scarlet and Violet very much are not really that enjoyable to play at the moment, uh, especially with all like the bugs and, and the problems with it. But uh, a Pokemon game to look forward to this year would be really, really cool. But again, I'm not expecting to see any announcement uh, June the earliest, but again, it's probably going to be August. Um with uh with, with how they usually set things up you know the last couple of pokemon presents have all been august but i guess if they want to announce this then they might do it a little bit earlier so they might do like a presents in june or something drop the black and white uh remake announcement and then also show some gameplay on legends ea if that's the case then the next presents is going to be a much more of a like a pokemon day presents than what we actually got because let's say in august or june or july whatever we get black and white remakes we get more information on pokemon pocket we get gameplay for legends ea that's going to be a much more exciting presents than, than we got on, on actual Pokemon Day. But anyway, that's just my kind of two cents on that situation. Finishing today's video off, though, we have a new rumor to go over that just popped up on 4chan uh, yesterday on the 3rd of April. And it says, new Pokemon development information. So, of course, this is on 4chan, so take it with a grain of salt. They go into detail about Generation 10, Legends EA, 30th Anniversary, all those things. But again... It's, it's very unlikely to be true. Again, you have to take it with a massive grain of salt because most of the time these do turn out to be um, to be false. So anyway, they say, this is my first and last post. I am a foreign contractor working at Creatures Inc. and have information regarding the upcoming Generation 10 games and Legends EA. So uh, obviously, Game Freak are clearly working on Legends EA and Generation 10 at the moment. So there are people out there that would have information on both of these things. Again, we're not going to get the Generation 10 announcement for a little bit yet. Probably might have not even be next year. It might not even be until 2026. But they are obviously working on that as of right now. Again, I think that Generation 10 is going to be solely for the Nintendo Switch 2. I don't think it's going to... I don't think the Nintendo Switch is going to be capable of running it. It can barely run Scarlet and Violet. Generation 10 is going to be like... You'd expect double that game in terms of like the the kind of quality of it well double the quality of scarlet and violet still isn't that high but you know what i mean like they should the, the gameplay should be looking a lot more the models and everything like that especially if it's for a new console so i highly doubt the nintendo switch would be able to run it but anyway first off i would like to disprove any fake information and false narratives that generation 10 uh could be coming out this year or next year so this person is saying generation 10 is not coming out this year i mean it's definitely not coming out this year there's no way they do generation 10 and then Legend Z8 and not announce Generation 10 on Pokemon Day. Next year, it's a little bit different. So if we get Legend Z8 announced, uh, if we get Legend Z8 coming out in January, then that means that the February Pokemon Presents is going to announce a new game. Now, that very well could be Generation 10. 
could be something else, but the way the cycle goes, it's more likely to be Generation 10. If Legends, uh, Legends DA does not come out until late 2025, then obviously on the Pokemon Presents for February 2025, we're just going to get more information about that. And it's highly unlikely they'd announce Generation 10 as well as more information on Legends EA. If it comes out late 2025, then and then obviously Generation 10 will probably get announced uh, 2026 Pokemon Day. And that will just kind of be the, uh, the cycle. Again, the perfect situation would be uh, black and white games this year. Legends EA next year, Generation 10 2026. I think then we get a game every year, we get excited about something every year, and they're all big games coming out as well. Because we wouldn't have to wait that long for Black and White. Legends EA hopefully should be really good, and then Generation 10 obviously is hopefully going to be the best Pokemon game of all time. So, a lot of things to look forward to. Anyway, this person is saying it's not coming out next year though. So, Generation 10 was repositioned as a 30th anniversary release uh, some time ago after major issues with Generation 9. I mean, there are obviously issues with Generation 9. They have not necessarily come out and said anything about it, but the games clearly have a lot of issues, a lot of bugs. They're not going to fix them. They're just not. like If they haven't fixed them by now, they're not going to fix them or they just can't fix them. So, I wouldn't expect to, to see all those bugs and things disappear from the Generation 9 games. It was positioned for release in mid-2025. I don't know why it would be randomly released mid-2025. We never get a main series game coming out in, in the middle of the year anymore. Uh, but higher-ups from other companies examined our work and uh, determined that we should be given more development time. We were all surprised when this happened as we were still working on remade animations for all the Pokemon that will appear in Generation 10. So it looks like... I mean, I, I kind of expect all Generation 10 Pokemon to get new models anyway. Uh, especially if it's for a new console. I think if we're ever going to get the National Dex back as well, I think it will be for Generation 10. Not even the National Dex, but every Pokemon appearing in a game. I think if they're ever going to bring that back, it will be for Generation 10. You know, because the new console, they'll be able to handle it and stuff. They clearly have worked on Generation 10 for a lot longer, especially because we know it's not coming out this year. It might not be coming out next year. And if that's the case, they've probably been working on it for a solid, like, at least four years. Um, so, you, you, yeah, you, you, you'd kind of expect... Um, Hopefully, all Pokemon to return in that game. Uh, this also meant our contracts would be renewed, which um, many of our team were excited for. The new estimated release window is sometime in early 2026. So again, that's that's also weird as well, because it just kind of disrupts the, the cycle. As I say, if Legend ZA comes out... If Legend ZA comes out early 2025, then the Pokemon Day Presents could announce Generation 10 for early 2026. But it would more likely just announce it for November 2026 for the holidays. Because that means that Pokemon would have gone two holidays, like two Christmases, without any game coming out around then. Because, you know, if we don't get a game this year, then the Christmas holidays have got nothing for. And then if Legends EA comes out early 2025, and then we don't get Generation 10 until early 2026, that also means Christmas 2025 they've had nothing as well. And I don't think they're going to go back-to-back -back Christmases without anything. Again, I still think Generation 5 games are going to come out this year regardless, so they'll have those for Christmas sales. But, um, yeah, it's uh, it'll be interesting if they did go two Christmases without any sales, because that would obviously really hurt the, the sales and stuff. Uh, this will be a bit after the next system has launched and it will be exclusive to that platform. Again, I, I expect that to be the case regardless whether this is true or not. I, I can't see Generation 10 being on the Nintendo Switch. It can't run Generation 9. It's not going to be able to run uh, Generation 10. Uh, anyway, they then go on to say, as for Legend ZA, I do not have much information as my team was not as heavily um, involved in that project. And again, it, it does make sense. There are Team A and Team B at Game Freak. Team A... Uh, work on one thing and Team B work on another. So maybe Team A is working on Generation 10, which this person's a part of. And maybe the other team is working on Legend ZA, which this person obviously is not a part of, so they wouldn't have that much information about it. It does technically add up. But again, this person could have just done their research. Like, I know that Game Freak has Team A and Team B. It doesn't mean I'm a leaker. So anyway, it goes on to say, however, I do not... Uh, I do know... Uh, that after events with a game that gained immense popularity in the West, the game was delayed out of late 2024 to some time that I do not know in 2025. So they're, they're basically saying here that Legends EA was supposed to come out in 2024, but it got delayed to 2025, uh, and they, they don't really know that, uh, why. But this, oh no, this was done to give the main developers more time to polish um, the, uh, the game and for it to launch near the next system. As from what I have heard, it performs very poorly on the current hardware. Legend ZA might come out for the Nintendo Switch. It might come out for the Nintendo Switch 2 as well. I, If it does come out for the Switch, I'm expecting it to run pretty poorly. But again, it depends when it comes out. You know, if the Switch 2 comes out um, early next year, 
and Legend ZA comes out like early next year, then maybe it is just going to be for the Switch 2. Who knows? Maybe we just have Generation 9 for the rest of this year, and then that's it for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, anyway, they go on to say, currently the game is still planned to be cross-gen, so that's obviously Nintendo Switch and the Nintendo Switch 2, although it was debated if they should still target older hardware after the delay to 2025. Uh, as far as I'm aware, no other major projects are in development, as uh, our other studio, Ilka, is currently all supporting ZA main developers. So this person is saying that there's nothing else coming out this year regarding remakes or side uh, spin-off games or anything like that and apparently Ilka is now working on ZA as well which I don't think is the case but either way this is all of the information I have please excuse my bad English as I it is not my native language any post after this claiming to, my, uh, to be myself is not me so again there's a lot of things that kind of make sense with this post 100% and again like delays and stuff are not like they're not foreign to us you know delays do happen and it could very well be that the reason is why Legends EA is not coming out this year. But at the same time, I don't necessarily think that this one is true. Let me know your thoughts on it, though. Do you think it is true? Do you think it does kind of support the reason as to why we're not getting a game this year or potentially not getting a game this year? Let me know your thoughts on all that. And everything else that we have covered, what are your thoughts on the trademarks as well? Do you think this could be related to Generation 5 remakes or do you think it is just going to be for the TCG? And also the Pokemon Go stuff, Pokemon Sleep stuff, all that, uh, all that jazz. But... Anyway, if you enjoyed watching, drop a like down below. It's trying to 500 likes. It does really help out. Leave a comment, subscribe if you're brand new, ring the notification bell for daily Pokemon content. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and until next time, peace.